okay guys so just uh, here i what i have written here to make sure a uh, small point this is okay it's not about ip address part okay this is all about a uh, overall uh, guys there is a lot of protocol suits like a uh, osi or maybe uh, ip access bx i will talk like kind of stuff right people use those uh, ips spx novel network apple talk kind of stuff but we then generally we are not using any kind of those protocols we are using tcp ip protocol suit we are communicating in the network right we are accessing internet so all we all through tcp ip protocol suit wise only of course compared to voice layer voice is a reference model for understanding to creating new network or a troubleshooting the network so i will tell the network troubleshooting kind of stuff also but so the first of all we see this ip address part ip addresses so sorry we are all using tcp ip protocol source okay so voice is a reference model tcp ip we are using Okay, that's the point. And we are all using star topology, not a ring topology, not a bus topology, not a mesh topology. Even mesh topology also using, but not generally in a, our regular LAN networks, we don't use uh, mesh topologies. We use star topologies. Of course, we are using WLANs, wireless LAN networks we are using, and our LAN networks we are using. To communicate in the internet, we are using WAN communication. That is, over the in routers and modems, we will communicating to internet, right? And we are using IP address type only, not any other addressing. We are using IP addresses only. We are using that one, two versions: IP address version four and version six. Till now, we are using IP version four only. IP version 6 also using in certain sectors only, certain places, like a certain private uh, internet services in some countries, IPv6 is using. Not globally, entire globally, IPv6 is uh, not applied, means 100% IPv6 we are not using, only 1 by eighth percentage something one by sixteenth percentage of ip uh, v6 addresses we are using some very less percentage of fully less portion of ipv6 is we are using released one is also very less okay so in globally we are not using ipv6 a hundred percent all communications by ipv4 type only but still there is a ipv6 it's also there because of some companies some countries some companies still using ipv4 does not mean india is you know people say in some people see the germany see the japan they're all entire country using ipv6 india is a very backward country so we are using ipv4 now guys america is also using ipv4 australia using ipv Russia using IPv4. Anyway, so we didn't go to that countries, but a lot of countries, rich countries, using IPv4 also. IPv4 is main. I6 IPv6 is additional part. Okay, so do not think like this. It's a uh, depends upon their country, their flexibility, connectivity, uh, kind of stuff. Okay, so there is a single way connectivity, sir. There are multi way connectivities. So India has a multi connectivity, it means like uh, there is certain internet entry points are there to the country. In India, we have a multiple entry points are there. Second one is like if you take Zio, Zio IPv6, Airtel IPv4, broadband connections. Some broadbands use IPv4, some are IPv6. Even though we are not wasting any IP addresses, in India we use IP addresses more better way. 
for anything should use much better way. Okay. So these are the things, guys. Use TCP IP protocol should. We are all using start topologies. Okay, we use IP addresses in IP addresses IPv4, IPv6. Both are using currently. IP address is a logical address. IP address is a logical address. Now, what is an IP address? Is a logical address. What is physical address, guys? Mac. Mac address. Mac address is a physical address. IP address is a logical address. The one already point. IP address is uniquely identify a device in the network. In your network, you have a 10 computers. Each computer will identify uniquely. Okay, that's the point in an IP address. Guys, when you are telling about the abbreviation, means like a IP address is IP means internet protocol. IP means internet protocol. Okay, so uniquely identify a device in the network. When you are telling that sentence, tell completely. Complete sentence will give correct meaning. If you say half of danger, uniquely identify, no, uniquely identification, no, unique, no, uniquely identify a device in the network. IP address is not unique address. MAC address is unique address, but IP address is not unique address. Okay. IP address can be changed according to the network. I am here in my network, I am in my office. When I was in office, I am getting a different IP address. When I was, I am in a home, I'll get a different IP address. This, this is my current IP address. If I go to my office, I will get 172.16. That some kind of series I will get it. Okay. So that is IP address can be changed according to the network. We can change an IP address. We cannot change MAC address, but we can change that. This is the basic introduction to IP address. But what is this? Uniquely identification of device. Guys, very simple to understand. When you are joining to the organization or maybe you are in a college, you are in a college. So, there is a your attendance registry. So we have a registry, but three members only there. But you have a re attendance registry. What your uh, um, uh, class teacher will call you with the numbers, right? Uh, one, two, four, not one, four, not two, four, not three, four, not four, two, not one, two, not two, two, not three, two, not four. Because it's a graduation, so we have a uh, three numbers. In the school days, only one, two, three, four, five, six members only. Okay, so you have a class A, class B, like a means section A, section B, the B section three, one at once, like that, right? So each person is getting a number. By number is are easy to call, easy to address them. In in attendance manner only, I am telling. Okay. But here we are all communicating with IP addresses only, not with the name, not with the MAC address. That's what I'm trying to say. So that's why it is called as a uniquely identified device in the network. The so same number, we don't give it to two members, right? Two people, we don't give same number. Same as. A sequence will follow. 401, 402, 403, 404, 405. 201, 202, 203, 204. So what is this number to represent? First number to represent that branch. But first four number is represent for first one number. The four represent the branch. For example, I am from ECE, Electronics and Communication Engineering. So my my branch in my university is four. They have to follow four, not one means it is a EC branch. 201 CSC branch. Okay. So like that. So they, they will understand like a, a 101 
So why it is understanding? It is separating from other branches and if you follow the sequencing. Same as you will go to the network and there is a hundred computers. They'll follow a sequence. One is the network address. Second is a host address. Network address must be the same like a 401, 402, 403. Same network address is same. 123 is a host addresses. Yeah, we'll come back to that point. But understand the three differences. IP address is a logical address. It's a uniquely identified device in the network. That's it. Two points. This is for a caring purpose. IP address can be changeable according to the network. Here is the differences, guys. IP address, MAC address. IP address is a logical address. MAC address is physical address. IP address can be changeable either manually or automatically we can change the IP address. But MAC address cannot be changeable. Why? Because it is given by manufacturer of NIC. MAC address is given by ma manufacturer of NIC. IP address is given by either manually or automatically from DHCP server. In IP address, we have a private and public IP address. Private IP address will communicate within the LAN. Public IP address are communicating over the internet. MAC addresses don't have any private or a public IP addresses. Use it for communication. Do not use for communications. Of course, we use MAC addresses in communication, but we are not communicate with the MAC address. Even this is a, not a good point. It is don't uh, not exact uh, point. It is not a main point. It is so we cannot uh, judge on this one, but guys we can we are communicating with ip address like you ping with an ip address right you can ping with an ip address i'm pinging to my router i ping to my router with an ip address or to ping with a mac address of this router or any other device so we don't have that idea right so we are communicating with an IP address. Can't communicate with the MAC address means we cannot address anyone with a, their MAC address. All communications by IP address. All communications by IP address. That is a main point. Okay. Next one, guys. In IP address, we have two versions IPv4 and IPv6. So IPv4 is 32 bit, IPv6 is 128 bit. MAC address is 48 bit, no separate versions, only it is 48 bit in uh, binary, but it represents 12 hexadecimal. Of course, IPv4 represented in a decimal format, IPv6 represented in hexadecimal format. Just IPv4, two versions. I, IP address, two versions. IPv4, IPv6. 32 bit, 128 bit. MAC address 48 bit represented in 12 hexadecimal. Guys, understand difference between IP address and MAC address? Yes, sir. So we are coming to now IP address part. IP address has two versions IPv4 version and IPv6 version. IPv4, IPv5, IPv6, IPv7, maybe like that. So people are trying some addressing. They started research on all type. But IPv4 research completed, it is uh, standardized. Then it is ready to release in the market, IPv4. So IPv4 came into market first. And as the, they are uh, doing testing and all, to find IPv6 also much best. And then um, we required to use all the IANA, ICANN regulations and the stuff. Okay. Internet Engineering Task Force, IETF, 
these are all uh, do the all uh, testing and all and standardize then later ipv6 also release into the market okay so depends upon your uh, internet connectivity and your uh, environment you can use ipv4 and or ipv6 okay. so we'll come back to what is ipv4 or ipv6 is again guys ipv4 is 32 bit in binary 2 to the power of 32 is to 4.3 billion ip addresses look at only ipv4 side okay only ipv4 side 4.3 billion IP addresses. 1 billion is equal to 100 ports. 100 ports. 1 billion. So 4.3 billion IP addresses. Here So the original number is like that. 4.2, like a 4, 2, 9, 4, like this. Okay. Next. IPv4 we write in the decimal format like 192, 168.1.1.1, 172.16.15.32, 169.2.154.15.34. Different ways we will write. Mainly the numbers are in a decimal format. We don't write in binary or a hexadecimal. We write in a decimal format only IPv4. You write a IPv for a address in a four parts. So total it is four parts. You can see 192 one part, 168 second part, one third part, 101 fourth part. Each one is divided by dot. Each part is divided by dot. So I divide the total 32 bit IPv4 so total 32 bit number into four parts so 32 by 4 8 bits 8 so this 8 bit we call it as a octet so that's why the first part we call it as a first octet second one is second octet third one is third octet fourth part is fourth octet okay fourth octet each octet is separated with a dot. You know, it is a octet size is 8 bits. 2 to the power of 8. 2 to the power of 8 is 256. 0 to 255. Okay. What is 0 to 255, guys? When you count the numbers, like a 0 to 5. How many numbers? 0 to 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Total is 6 numbers. Similarly, 0 to 255 is 256. So 2 to the power of 8, 8 bits means 2 to the power of 8 is a 256 and 0 to 255. Each octet size means each octet either 0 or 1 or 2 or 3, maximum 255 in the each octet. You can see from here, first octet, second octet, third octet, fourth octet. Each octet size is either 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 255. 0 to 255, each octet size. And we have four octets. You know, some people, for uh, make it more easier, they use this W, X, Y, Z uh, notation, so then they can easily uh, recognize these octets. The first octet, uh, like a W, second octet is like a, um, this also will increase. So it is good, give a good look. So, and this is a better. So first octet represent W. The first part we call it as a W. Second one is X. Third one is Y. Fourth one is Z. Or you can remember in a traditional way is first octet, second octet, third octet, and fourth octet. You see, first octet, second octet, third octet, fourth octet. 
or you can remember like a this are this is w this is y x this is y this is z okay guys understand each octet size this part only this part Again, silent. Huh? Sir, what is this? A uh, four point three billion part. It is a uh, IP addresses which are we having, or uh, we can create with one system. What is that? Well, four point well, three billion. Good. What is this? Four point three billion IP addresses. Very good. Good. That is a good one. See, uh, we calculate number of IPv four total number of. IPv4 addresses. 4.3 is a total number of IPv4 addresses. And I said no. So this is the range like a IP address, IPv4 address, starting IP address is oh. 0.0.0. And it continues like 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. This is the last IP. The sequence. This is starting. This is ending. Okay, this overall sequence. Total IP addresses are 4.3 billion IP addresses. Got it? So it is a global count, sir? Yeah, global count means total IP addresses. Not, not, not we are using, not using. In that range, like uh, I gave you uh, uh, something range, like uh, 10 to 100. That is a range. Means how many are there? 90. It's like a range. So, totally 4.3 billion IP addresses are there. Not existing, not existing, or existing, or not existing, that is not there. The total range. Of course, we don't use that many also. We will do a lot of manipulations. Okay. I, I, I got your question. So, for uh, the version of uh, Four, it is having 4.3 billion IP addresses, right, sir? Yeah, the range is 4.3 IPv4. We'll get a 4.3 billion IP addresses. 4.3 billion IP addresses in IPv4. Okay. Either we use up to 4.3 or not, that is separate. That is where I will tell uh, next time anyway. Few IP addresses ranges we don't use it also. Maximum we use uh, less than that one in the world. Okay. Okay. So this is a total range of IPv4. Very good. That's the word I, I will use it from next time for next classes also the IPv4 range. That's it. These many IP addresses in the IPv4. But that is also not enough. Okay, so here it is. This is the first IP address. Next one is like a like a sequence, like 1, 2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.254. 0 0.255. Last one is 255. You can't get a 256 then obviously after 9 you'll get 10 after 98 99 98 99 100 it again 9 becomes 0 101 102 103 109 110 similarly same sequence it is you reach 254 255 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 like up to 1.254, 1.255, and 2.0. and 2.0. 2.1, 2 2.2, 2.3, 2.254, and 2.255, then 3.0. It goes on, like a 255.255. .255. Then 1.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. 
So sorry, 0 dot 1, 1 dot 0 dot 0. Then again, 0 dot 1 dot 0 dot 1, 0 dot 1 dot 0 dot 2. It goes on like that. Entirely it will complete it with the 255, 255, 255, like that. So finally we reach the entire system. This is the last IP address in the entire IPv4. This is the first IP address in the entire IPv4. This is the range of total IP address ranges. The total from here to here, if you write one by one, one by one, you write, then it is a 4.3 million IP addresses exact number is this one these many IP addresses we will get it okay that is IPv4 not completed guys but we need a difference between IPv4 and IPv6 also okay so I will give you a small information about IPv6 also It is 128 bit, not 64 guys. Always remember IPv4, IPv6. V4 is 32 bit, V6 is 128 bit. Means in binary, if you write in a binary, it is 128 binary numbers, zeros and ones. 2 to the power of 128 because it's binary. So you have to calculate number of range of ipv6 so we use that word right the range of ipv6 is 2 to the power of 128 4.3 billion billions of ip addresses sorry sorry 3.4 billion billions of ip addresses exactly say 3.4 into 10 to the power of 38 ipv6 addresses are there you are not using entirely but still that is the total range you know entire globally entire globally we can use if you put have only ipv6 communication so each and every device you can give two ip addresses that is a uh, like each particle size something it is there it is it is very huge as compared to ipv4 IPv6 is having huge differences. Okay, huge differences. A huge number of IP address differences there. So, guys, it is a 4.3 billion. Indian population is 1.4 billion. In India, each person is using one IP address. So, maximum we are using like a 1.4, at least take 1.3. So, 3 billion is only left over for entire world. That is also not. In India, we are uh, using multiple things. Like I have a laptop, I have a mobile, I have a tab. And a desktop. One person required at least two to three IP addresses. So, think like a IPv4 is very limited. But of course, we use in different ways. That's why we are utilizing even with the one single IPv4 also. But in a future and currently and as well as the future, IPv4 addresses are not enough. Because number of devices are increasing. Okay, not number of people, not about number of people, which is all about a number of devices increasing, number of device connectivity is requirement is high. It is difficult to manage with IPv4 in future. So then not only future, now also it is difficult. So, in such so certain broad, broadband connections, certain places we are using IPv6 is communication. See, IPv6, in the IPv6, the range is 3.4 to 10 to the power of 38 IP addresses we are getting. IPv4 is represented in hexadecimal format. Hexadecimal format. What is hexadecimal format? So I think I have a table. We are already created a table. So then if you are uh, need a recollection, I will do a recollection also. See hexadecimal 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That is decimal. 
but you can see in a decimal after nine, there is a one zero means again it is started with zero. Again, one zero, one one, one two, one three, one four, one five, one six, one seven, one eight, one nine, then two zero. That is decimal. In binary, only two variants: zero one, zero one, one zero, one one, one zero zero, one zero one one, one zero one one one, like that. In hexadecimal, this is zero to f: zero one two three four five six seven eight nine, a b c d e f. So the up to that one single digit only. In decimal zero to nine single digit. In hexa zero to f single digit. In octa zero to seven single digit. After after seven it is become one zero. In binary zero and one are single digits. Later on days remaining next next we will go. There is a double digit, triple digit, four digits. Next if you see the hexa decimal, the last digit is f. You want to write hexadecimal in a binary. The maximum single digit size is four bit in the binary. Single digit in hexadecimal, maximum single digit. Here it is four binary. Okay, so we have to take four binary is equal to one hexa or one hexadecimal. On hexadecimal is equivalent to four binary bits. Okay, so keep it in that manner. Octal, octa, octa means each single digit in octa is represent three binary three binary bits. A decimal representation is different. So decimal nine is different. So it is not all ones kind of stuff. Here it is seven is all ones. F is all ones. Okay. So if you have any version like a three, all ones are there. If you don't have like that, so nine is last one, but it nine is one zero zero one. The B C D uh, converter is different. Means binary to decimal conversions. Okay, guys, that is a hexadecimal format. Okay, so this is an example of a IPv6 address. So how it will be written? One hexadecimal is equal to four bit. So four binary bits. We have a 128 binary bits. So 128 divided by four. So totally 32 hexadecimals. Of course, IPv6 is best, but see the size of the IPv6 address. 32 hexadecimals. And e four hexadecimals take four hexadecimal numbers and create a one block see this is the one block each block is divided by colon each block is divided by colon so it is a, we have a eight blocks so simply say there is a eight blocks in ipv6 each block having four hexadecimal numbers and this is some example and the stuff you can write uh, IPv6 address like this and also like this. It's the smallest. The meaning is this one. Meaning is this one. The, like this is a smallest, uh, like not only this, very small also there, but this is the way one like this is. And uh, I assign an IP address to a a computer with this IP address. It is also valid. Once you are extracted, you will see this one. How it is? If you see all our zeros here in middle, all zeros become double column. Uh, if it is uh, more zoom, then we can see better. See, this is also some IP address, IPv6 address only. Then I convert it into Remove by zeros. I remove the leading zeros like this. I remove all these zeros. Then like this I've written. Then I've written in a much smaller, even though I remove these continuous zeros and keep it like this. Next one, this is the another IP address. I've written like this. So here also two continuous zeros are there. This block, in this block, only zeros. 
next these three blocks are having continuous zeros so like this you can write this is correct one so this is or you can write a further one like you can remove these two zeros combined <coughs> with the double colon like this or this side these three zeros you can combine either you can write like this or like this not a double colon double colon kind of stuff not happen but it's okay guys but again we'll see ipv6 128 bit 2 to the power of 128 3.4 billion uh, billions of IP addresses 3.4 into 10 to the power of 38 IP addresses we are getting IPv6 represented in hexadecimal format example so each one each single like a, a single hexadecimal number represented in a four binary bits so 128 bit by four is 32 hexadecimals we use in the IPv6. 32 hexadecimals numbers we are using in the IPv6. Okay, each four. Okay, so at least the four hexadecimal numbers considered as a one block. Each block is divided by a colon. So that is a IPv6. And there is some more differences are there. We'll learn that one also. This is I told about IPv4. This is a empty slide, guys. We can add anything here. Just I keep it as empty. In IPv4, we have a loopback or localhost address called 127.0.0.1. I will give you what is that. Okay, that explanation also. But see, it is loopback or localhost address is 127.0.0.1 every ip every machine has an ip address itself like a self ip address like a local host guys i have an ip address my ip address is this one this ip address is given to this adapter and uh, this ip address is given to this adapter something like that so I have another adapters are there where it is gone. Uh, I removed a few adapters, virtual adapters, VMware I uninstalled, right? Okay. So this is my original IP address, right? So look at here. I want to communicate from one PC to another PC. For example, A want to communicate to B. So A want to ping A to B PC. B PC IP address is, for example, ten dot zero dot zero dot. Uh, some 20 APC IP address is it is assigned to their network adapter uh, maybe it is uh, 11 something IP address of course there are connected now A want to ping to B how to ping ping BPC IP address, right? Ping BPC IP address, ping request and B. B receive the ping request. Okay, it give reply. Ping request means echo request, echo reply. So, right, this is what we are doing. So, right, pinging to BPC. So, I want to communicate it to B. I want to communicate it to B and need a B's IP address. Guys, understand this part? Yes, sir. Very good. So, 
A to B communication. A to B, A pinging. Ping. 10 dot, 0 dot, 0 dot, 20. Right? Now, A to A communication. A to A communication. So, generally, as we have an idea, to whom to your communication, see the destination and see the destination IP address. This is generally people will think. You know, you have a PC and whether you have a network connection or maybe you have an IP address or no IP address, you have an IP address or no IP address, you have a name or no name, but every PC itself has a name called a local host. CPC name is C, but its name locally called local host, and the local host has an IP address like this. Even this PC having an IP address, for example, the, I, or, uh, the network address is like this. So maybe it is uh, 12, 10.0.0.12. Maybe I will do a little, little later. Uh, maybe 15. This is easy. Okay. So PCs are having an IP address and each and every device having a name. But every PC itself, there is a name called localhost and IP address is 127.0.0.1. It goes, same goes for BPC also. Each and every PC having a The self name and an IP address is okay. So that is that every PC their local name is localhost. So here it is. My PC has my own name. It is localhost. It being or that parameter. It is 127.0.0.1 my local host my local host name in IPv6 it is colon colon one local host IP address is local colon colon one local host means myself when I have introduction to myself so it, I'm I want to call me myself. I want to call me myself only. That is a local host type. So one more point, guys. Uh, point is, for example, I have a machine. Here, I have a, some services there. Application or a services there. Some application, like a database application. This is a, some application, some web application, okay, or some database application. Here is my client. Both are in the same PC. Both are in the same PC. I want to connect it to this one from my PC only. Means where is the server app? This is server application. This is client application. I want to connect it. So how do I connect? I don't require the main IP address. Like uh, I have another IP address, for example, and this is something like a 16. I don't use this IP address, regular network IP address. So I want to communicate from here to here only. From here to here only. Then I use this local loopback address, local host a loopback address. Okay. For example, 
I given already uh, in our PPT, we have that uh, example is there. This is my Oracle database. This is Oracle database application. And this is my uh, SQL plus application. So I'm communicating to it with the, this IP address. This PC has their own IP address. For example, guys, from A, I want to access this database. From A, I want to access this Oracle database. How to access? In A PC, I open uh, this SQL uh, plus application. Then I will try to connect. Ten dot. 0.0.16 why not uh, 127.0.0.1 in a if i use 127.0.0.1 the request go to itself pc only not to this pc like this is a dpc request does not go to dpc request go to apc only if i use in this one in this one request go to dpc because it's a cell phone point again you said like this this is a request will go to dpc Guys, understand what is the 127.0.0.1. We use it for a self testing. Every PC name is itself a local host, and local host IP address is 127.0.0.1. You have a, some application, so web or a network related, network based any services. You access through network kind of services. Your server your client both are in a same machine server and a client both are in a same machine so you can use localhost name or 127.0.0.1 ipv4 localhost address is 127.0.0.1 ipv6 this colon colon 1 this colon colon Guys, understand this point 127.0.0.1. Sure. <laughs> okay. There is a certain IP addresses like a 0 .0 0.0.0. This is the first uh, IPv4 address, right? This is the first IPv4 address. We are using this is uh, also called as unknown IP. This is a reserved IP address in the DHCP process. It is reserved IP address. We use the DHCP process, default routing, and stuff. So generally, in communication, we don't use 0, .0, .0 direct communications like a pinging like that. We don't work. This represented an IPv6 is call and call it. So 127.0.0.1 localhost address. Okay, in the, the localhost address in IPv6 is colon colon one and 0, 0.0.0. .0 this is colon colon in the IPv6. In IPv4, we have a unicast, multicast, broadcast type of addressing communication. In communication, we have a unicast communication, multicast communication, broadcast communication. IPv6, we have unicast communication, multicast communication, any cast communication, no broadcasting, any cast communication is there. What is unicast? Unicast is one to one communication, does not mean only two is there. Okay. 
does not mean only two are there. So guys, this is A, B, C, D. All are like a, this is IPv4 configured, IPv4 configured, IPv4 configured. This is IPv6 configured. This is uh, IPv4 and IPv6 configured. This is only IPv6, no IPv4. Okay, here also I will do point. Okay. This is also IPv6 only. So IPv4, IPv4, V4 and V6, only V6. Only V6, okay. So this is also only V6. So what is first of all unicast means? For example, A send a packet to B. So like a A send a packet to B IP address. No, 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 not B. B is IPv6, right? V4 to V6 communication, what happens? C. Okay. A send a packet to C with a C's IP address. C has a, some IP address like this. So for example, A want to ping to B. So with a B's IP address. That is called unicast. That is called a unicast. One to one communication. Or a B want to send a packet to D. We want to send a packet to D. We want to send a B want to send a packet to D. Or B want a connectivity to D. So it will give destination IP like this. Next one is multicasting. Multicasting means, for example, A, C, B, E, F. These devices, for example, for example, these devices are working on the same protocol, same services kind of stuff, same service protocol. They want to share uh, information between them, like a group message kind of stuff. So they communicate with the multicast address, multicast addresses. For example, of multicast addressing is 224 0.0.2 dot, dot for example just for example this is a one example multicast address so a send a packet to 224 dot 0 dot 0 dot 2 a send a packet to this IP address and this IP address is received by C, E, F. It is look like one, one IP address only, but these are all in the same multicasting. So obviously all people will get a same IP address. So all will get a same packet. Certain things like a WDS deployment services, like through network you install operating system, so that time we use multicasting. RIP version 2. RIP version 2. EIGRP. is a routing protocol. EIGRP. OSPF. When they are communicating each other using this protocol, routers are sharing. Point is, the routers share their routing information. Routers share their routing tables. Okay, so 
what are the protocol you use like RAP version 2, EIZ, RP, YSPF? So how these routers share their routing tables to other routers? They so share with the multicast address. Share with the multicast address. Okay. What is a multicasting, guys? Very simple. It is you send a packet to a multicast address that protocol used the devices. Okay, they will all get this packet that is called a multicast. Like I have a server, I want to deploy operating system to all these machines. So I use a multicast address to share the information to everybody within that deployment only. Next is broadcast. In generally, two type of broadcast addresses is there. I'm writing a, a universal broadcast address. Means in IPv4, it is a broadcast address. The IPv4 will use as this is a broadcast address. So this is the broadcast address. It means A send a packet to this address. A send a packet to this address. Means who will get it? A send a packet to that address. Who will get it? You send to B, C, D, E also. To everyone, those who are connected in the network, A send a packet with this IP address received by B, C, D, those who are connected in the network. <laughs> you guys understand what is meaning of broadcast? Yes, sir. Next one is anycast. In IP v6, we have a anycast feature, not broadcast, anycast feature. For example, here it is the EPC is there having a only IPv6 part. It want to send a packet using any cast address. Okay, so we didn't return any cast address here, but the E is send a packet. Not unicasting to particular PC like a E can able to send a packet to B. E can send able to packet to D. Because IPv6, IPv6, IPv6. Like unicast way, E to B or E to D, D to B, B to D. So in a unicast way, we can able to send. Of course, multicast way also, we can able to communicate. Okay. But here it is, anycast. What I said broadcast, A send a packet to this broadcast address, so everyone in the network will get it. Now this is any cast. E send a packet with the any cast address. The packet goes to only D and B only. It means those devices are enabled with the IPv6. They will get a any cast packet. Those who are not having a IPv6 inside. You can see this is not having a IPv6, IPv6 is not there, IPv6 is not there. So they don't get these packets. That is called a anycast. Okay, it's a global unicast. Of course, in IPv6, we don't have a classes like IPv4. We have a global unicast address starting with the 2000, even in a IPv6 I have written right here, 2001, 2001 like this. Why I have written? Because it's a, a my representation is it is a global unicast address. It is a most like a public address. Guys, there is a lot of notes about a global unicast. Means the total IP address is not that much simple. The single IP address contains uh, uh, information about your ISP your zone, zone is also there. Okay. 
so i'm in a uh, india in india indian zone is there right india has its own zone like asia specific zone kind of stuff okay zonal wise i will get a, a public ip address my isp wise and my area in the particular area like i am in hyderabad now the area coding geographical addressing and then isp so it is includes in this global unicast just is very simple to understand guys this like a global unicast is a public ip address you want to communicate to internet so we use global unicast next one is link local of course global unicast <coughs> private ip address unicast public private unicast this is a public one and private unicast address is there multicast address is there <coughs> unicast is there but i want to say very simple one only link local as this one what is this link local c look at <coughs> so this is the link local ip address my router not giving any ipv6 address my router is giving only ipv4 address not ipv6 addresses okay so this is showing a link local ipv6 address what is this meaning if you see f e 80 colon colon f e 80 colon colon if you see an ip address like this it is a link local ip address this remaining part is generated by our system this is standard <coughs> for every adapter it is a standard if ipv6 adapter in ipv6 sorry in adapter ipv6 is enable adapter if ipv6 is enable automatically link local ip address will be appear see this is the starting address this remaining is different the remaining is different depends upon your adapter the adapter's mac address depends upon your adapter your adapters mac address this will be generated okay this link lock ip address is private ip address works in a lan communication guys if you don't have a dhcp server in your lan no problem we can able to communicate no dhcp no ip address you don't know how to assign ip address so then no ip address no ip address no communication but no problem your device is enabled with ipv6 till you can able to communicate with the link local ip address in your lan communication okay so this link local ip address is a private ip works in lan communication it is generated by your system based on your nic mac address nic is mac address that it is more unique and it is works this is also generated by system i said apipa address right 169.254 so that is also given by system only but 169.254 does not work Won't communicate to anyone, but this will communicate because it's IPv6 link local and uh, the program it is written for working purpose with this network address in a LAN communication. Yeah, this is the explanation I said now 127.0.0.1 explanation. guys this is the last point i will tell here and then i will give you a break okay so ip addresses ip addresses your ipv4 address 
from here to here 4.3 billion billions of IP addresses. This is the complete range of IP address. This complete range of IP addresses are divided into classes. Totally five classes. To recognize which your IP address, which class it is. To recognize your IP address, which class it is. That is based on their first octet. Uh, this is the first octet, second octet, third octet, fourth octet. Or W, X, Y, Z. See the W part. Okay. See the W part. So, based on that, we can recognize which class of IP address it is. Okay. Of course, we are divided IP addresses, total IPv4 addresses 4.3 billion ip addresses into five classes class a class b class c class d and class e class a is 0 to 127 the range is 1 to 126 range is 1 to 126 class b sorry 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 Class A, the range is 0 to 127. In certain test books, certain materials, some Google searches, it may show you 1 to 126 also. There is a reason. The original range is 0 to 127 only. The total range is 0 to 127 only. Why it is showing 1 to 126? I will tell. The 0 series and 0.0.0.0 Zero, that's the four zeros part is reserved IP address used in a different uh, places uh, like a default routing, default routing, DHCP process time, like a unknown IP address recognition, default routing kind of stuff. Of course, we use this zero dot. We don't use it. We cannot assign. Important is we can't assign these IP addresses to an adapter. Very simple. Okay. We are using in some protocol process, but we don't assign 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 to any adapter. And of course, entire zero series means 0 0.1.2.3 .1 kind of stuff. Also, we can't assign to a an adapter. 127.0.0.1 reserved IP address for a loopback or local host of course every pc has is their own ip every pc having a, a common ip address is 127.0.0.1 as their local host name is also local host every computer whatever their, their computer name but they're commonly having a computer name is local host okay so 127.0.0.1 is a reserved ip address of course even we cannot assign 127 entire the series like 127.2.4.5 like that also you can't assign to any adapter of course um, that is 169.254 is a pipa address that is a different concept but guys why in a certain test books or certain materials it shows 1 to 126 because of in generally we don't use 0 series and 127 series but the original range is 0 to 127 only. Class B is a class B is 128 to 191. Class C is 192 to 223. Class D 224 to 239. Class E 240 to 55. Guys, class E, the range from 242 to 55, we are not using, not India only globally we are not using these ranges in both private and public communications we don't use 242 to 55 it is they said it is a R&D maybe they use in some special places maybe they reserve this fund for a in a future kind of stuff next 127 dot one for sorry 124 so why why my brain is not working 124 to 239. 124 to 239 is a range, is a multicast range. 
24 to 239 is a multicast range. So these range also we cannot assign to adapters. So when you are assigning an IP address to an adapter, we cannot assign these IP addresses. Then what is the use guys? When you do multicasting type communication, already I said, so like you are deploying an application, we have multiple PCs, are deploying an operating system, installing an operating system through network, we have multiple PCs. So how they will communicate? in a group wise like these are all working on a same protocol same type of communication same packets it is send and receiving so they use this kind of multicast addresses by the protocols okay directly we don't use it next of course class a class b class c are unicast so class a class b class c except of 0 series and 127 series and 169.254 series all are useful IP addresses only all are useful IP addresses of course there is a private and public IP addresses are there so that is also we will discuss separately but these are the classes of IP addresses. if you see here it is I have written few IP addresses this is class A this is class B how I know? The first see the first octet W. See the W and compare with the range. Then guess which class it is. 151 class B. Now guys, tell me this which class it is? 197. Third class. Class C. Which class it is? 224.0.0.9. Fourth. Class D. 240. It's a E. Even. Class E, very good. 170. Second class. Class B. Very good. Very good. So last batch, uh, one batch, uh, when I take, I remove all these things and I ask question and uh, tied and then and next one. This is good. Very good, right? So guys, understand how to recognize an IP address, which class it is. Okay. Which class of IP address it is. Understand up to here, guys. IP address and classes. Yes, sir. Yes. The next part we will discuss about a subnet mask, network and host portions, and subnet mask kind of stuff. Okay. And I will tell about a, what is subnet mask and the conditions to communicate to devices, what is required, and what are the subnet masks. And also, we will see uh, what is the Meaning of subnetting. I don't teach you subnetting. Subnetting is separate. Okay. And what is slash notation? And what is private IP, public IP addresses, NAT and PAT? That is, we will finish. A people already I told, otherwise, read from here. <coughs> okay. <coughs> this is unicast, multicast. So, guys, take a break. Come back in 10 15 minutes. will continue from here but compulsory remember these ranges differences ipv4 ipv6 differences ip address mac address differences ip address classes and their ranges and recognize in an ip address which class it is that is the important one 